Hello everybody, I am back. Okay, let me show you what I had planned on making yesterday. Now first I was going to do meatballs and I thought, you know what, let me make a meatloaf. I've been having meatloaf in a while, so I'm going to make meatloaf. Now traditionally my meatloaf, way before I was keto or low carb, I used stovetop stuffing, either the turkey or the chicken for my breading in these. I never used breadcrumbs or anything. I liked the seasoning in the stovetop stuffing. Now, I have tried pork rinds in it. I don't like it. I've even tried just your regular Parmesan cheese in it. It doesn't give you a good breading type consistency that you would get if you used just breadcrumbs or like me, the stovetop dressing. So, I saw a video, and I, I'm i not even going to lie, I do not remember where I saw it. It was, it was a little while ago. I just haven't had the stuff to make it until just recently when I went to the grocery store and got the stuff. I got wisps. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, two servings of this. One serving is 23 crisps. You guys... Let me let that focus, which is uh, about 28 grams, and it is one carbohydrate per serving. Now, I'm going to measure out uh, two servings of that. I have a small little uh, chopper that I got when I went and cleaned out my grandmother's house. I remember my mother had this. It's called a Toastmaster. And it's just a little food processor, something really little if you're doing small jobs and you don't want to. Um, I was actually quite shocked that it still worked if you're not doing, um, you know, large amounts of things. So, which I'm not. I'm just going to chop up a, a couple of portions of the wisps. I'm going to do a little bit more of the chopped onion. I'm going to do a little bit of chopped green bell pepper. I have to weigh out how much hamburger I have here. One egg, about a quarter of a cup of my no sugar added ketchup, Italian seasoning, and maybe a little bit of poultry seasoning because that's what's in the stovetop stuffing recipe or seasonings. A little bit of parsley flakes, some onion powder, garlic powder, and of course my old faithful salt and pepper. I also have this small loaf pan. Now this loaf pan I've always used for cornbread dressing loaves. That's uh, not cornbread dress, cornbread, just cornbread loaves. Sometimes I would use it when I would bake my cornbread dressing too. So I'd make the little loaves of cornbread bread. Instead of muffins, I would make little loaves. So let me get to chopping things up and get this mixed together, you guys. I gotta take off the jewelry. By the way, all of these pretty little bracelets here, and I fully expect them to turn green. And this new watch here that I got. Oh, and it is ooh, 1 o'clock. I like the analog clock. I'm not big on digital. Plus these other two little bracelets, they're, you know, stretchy bracelets from Walmart. My other watch broke. So, And it was a $5 watch I got from Walmart years ago. And it just, it finally gave up. Not bad for a five dollar, five or six dollar watch. This set here was fifteen dollars at Walmart, and I like it. So, alright guys, let's get to chopping and throwing this meatloaf together.
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and let it bake. I got it at 350. I'm going to see how long it takes. Uh, right now it is 15 after 1. So I'll go ahead and keep track. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll let you know, or during the, the speed up of this, I'll let you know how long it actually took. So stay tuned for that, guys. I miss meatloaf. Okay, everybody, here is the meatloaves, and I'm going to tell you what, they smell pretty close to my original meatloaf. These little suckers here. I'm going to go ahead and pull one out, but first, I, I think I'm going to have some broccoli with them. I got my scale right over here, so hang on. Let's see how much is in this bag here. And they're quite full of liquid. That is exactly, see, there's quite a bit of liquid in the bottom of this, but they were frozen, so they're pretty full of liquid. That is exactly six ounces, if you can see. Let me get you down here. Exactly six ounces. Okay, so, and right here, on my stove, I got some water heating up. I'm going to boil. I don't like my broccoli mushy, so I'm just going to kind of heat them through. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter to it. Now, let's pull out one of these meatloafs, guys. And I probably will not do a mukbang today, so I'll go ahead and taste test this for you right here on this video. All right. Woo! Let's see which one. Oh, yes. Mm. Yum. Look, guys. A oh, little baby meat, though. I like mine with ketchup. Some people like this with a brown gravy. I actually prefer mine with ketchup. That's how my mother did it. Look at this little cute loaf. All right. Let's see. Oh, holds up to very... Oh, oh the cheese. Cut. I had a little bit of a cheese pull when I did that. Oh, that's terrible. There we go. All right, here we go. It's hella hot. Yes. Wow. That's, that's really good. Wow. That is really good. I think I just found my new favorite way to make meatloaf. I wish I could remember where I saw that. So I could give that person total and utter credit for this. Wow, that is really good. Guys, please try this. I'm going to go ahead and boil my broccoli. Let me just say today is super windy. We've had like gusts of 30 mile per hour winds. Now, before I lived in Virginia, wind never used to bother me. Wind really bothers me now. And I think it's because of all the hurricanes that we go through. It bothers me terrible. Wind is so destructive. And I had it on the Weather Channel. And tornado. It's tornado season for you guys in that tornado alley. And, and that uh, uh, it's spring. It's spring, guys. Oh, guys, please try this meatloaf. I've calculated just one. I took everything and I divided it by five. And then I did one fifth when I put it in carb manners. You want to talk about hard to do. It, not terrible because one fifth of an ounce of the onion. One fifth of an ounce of the pepper. The quarter of a cup of ketchup. I did like two. One in a quarter tablespoons or teaspoons I don't know it was hard I put it up I may end up eating two of these you guys it is now a quarter to two so it took about 
25 minutes to cook these little ones. If you do a full one, it'll probably take about the same amount of time, but guys, you gotta try this. All right, broccoli is boiling nice and hot all the way through. Guys, please, if you live in Tornado Alley or in the Midwest, please be safe out there. Have a fantastic weekend. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you Monday. Love you. Oh, I wanted to say also, you guys, is I know maybe some of you guys were looking for tacos today. I may wait until Tuesday and do a Taco Tuesday. I just, I wasn't feeling them after I had the ham and cheese and uh, scrambled egg roll-ups this morning. And now this meatloaf. But come Tuesday, I may do some tacos. So stay tuned for that, guys. Again. I love you. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I do cooking videos mostly. I do do some mukbangs. And I have been doing a pop-up camper renovation. So if you want to see those, go ahead and jump in and watch those. I will post a couple of what I have done up till now probably this weekend for you guys to see they are old videos so if i say anything in there that's out of date don't be surprised they're they're older videos again i love you guys so so much give me a big old thumbs up and I'll see